Hello YouTube, it's been a while isn't it? Uh, I reckon it's been over a year since I last recorded a video for you, so uh, sorry about that. I guess like most people it's been a bit of a strange year for me like it has for everybody else. Uh, lots of ups and downs, although for me mostly, oops actually I'm going to say. Um, I'm going to take a bit of a change in direction really with things, um, lots of things have changed. So to start with, it's not just me, it's her as well, my lo lovely young lady Helen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, and then we also have uh, the newest addition to the clan. I'm hiding through here, sulking actually to be honest. There you go. And that's Shadow. We'll do a proper introduction to Shadow and tell you his story. Uh, and as you probably gather from that quick view, uh, we're in a, a camper van. So we've joined the hordes of people who are sort of doing the van life thing. So that's kind of where we're going to go a bit more, I think, from you know from now on. Uh, there'll still be some motorbike stuff, I'm sure, and, and whatnot. But um, we're going to sort of just show you some of our travels, really, and our things we're going to do and things we get up to and stuff we see and so on. So anyway, just see how it goes. But yeah, not just me, not just boring old me anymore. The pair of us. Um, and so now we're uh, we're just going to go and we've scoffed our faces, filled up with diesel, and we're going to pick up my uh, my little girl, and then we're going to head off up to the Lake District. So we'll uh, we'll see you when we're further north. We're in Barrow and Furness. Yeah. Or somewhere along the lines there anyway. <laughs> and it's the sea, obviously. And Shadow is having his first experience of a beach. I think he's enjoying it. I think he is. I think he's too short. I see we can get in the water here. in the water. Only shallow but he's in it. Shallow shadow. <laughs> Come on boy. Come on boy. So shadow doesn't like the water. So he's wrestling with his conscience here as to what to do. <laughs> Come on. Good boy. Come on. Come on! Because he kind of wants to come in, but he's just not too sure. Come on! <whistles> he's been enjoying the bits where he could just get away with not coming in the water. Here, no, that's it. We'll come, if we walk out a little bit, he might be more encouraged to walk in. There you go. Come on! <laughs> we'll get him there. I'll determine this week we're going to get him there. So we've got rather a special place where we're staying tonight. This is Furness Abbey, which you'll be able to see properly in a moment. And we're actually going to be staying in a car park right over the road looking at the Abbey ruins, which is a sanctioned thing by Barrow Borough Council. There's the car park over there, that's it. And, uh, if you pass that to me, I should be able to pop that to it. moment there's a lot of cars here which means we haven't got a decent space but we'll get one later when they all go we'll move the van I think but basically we're gonna be looking directly at the ruins when we wake up in the morning uh, oh. so yeah anyway we've got Chinese Street first <laughs> nom, 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 and we'll catch you in a bit so lots of people moved empty out the car park a bit so we managed to get quite a nice spot the van obviously it's quite untidy at the moment because we've just had Chinese and we haven't set up but if you look right. this is Hold 
Come oh, the view. Obviously, don't mind the gobby thing in the uh, in the pop top. But this is literally our view when we sleep tonight. Pretty incredible, isn't it? And that road's closed there, so you're not going to get any traffic really coming past. So there you go. Pretty lucky, aren't we? And uh, for those who are thinking this is actually wild camp, it's not, strictly speaking. It's all perfectly sanctioned. Borough, Borough Council have set up four car parks, I think it is, with these QR codes where they're welcoming camper vans. Uh, they want people to come and visit the area, basically, which I think is really good. And uh, I think Cumbria itself is uh, really trying to encourage all of this. So I'll try and put some links on the video as well. Um, but yeah, you can basically just come and actually park here for free as long as you follow their code of conduct, for conduct which is nothing uh, unreasonable, is it? So yeah, pretty good, eh? Shadow's curious about the cows. Come on, boy. So it's morning, by the way. It's 10 to 7 in the morning. We've actually been awake since about half five, in fairness, although we've sort of just chilled and relaxed a bit. Uh, we actually slept pretty well. Little one was a little bit cold once she actually woke up. You know, first night in the van, we've got some refining to do and lessons to learn and things like that. But uh, it's got to be said, this is beautiful. Van life is good. Um, we had some neighbours, they rolled off about midnight, actually in fairness, they were pretty late, but they didn't disturb us, or, you know, they were very quiet, and hopefully we haven't disturbed them this morning. Uh, so, yeah, just taking them up for a walk, and uh, stretch his legs, stretch mine, little one sitting outside the van, Helen's trying to have a bit of a doze, probably failing. Go on, boy. And yeah, there we go. I'll, I'll spin this round to show you. Obviously, the van's over there. And, uh, the cows yesterday, after, in the evening, were up on that bank, that hillside. It's quite a nice spot because it's obviously very sheltered. All around you've obviously got lots of trees, a little bit of the abbey, the bank there, and so on. And you have where those railings are. If you can see them with the glare of the sunlight, that's a railway track. So the last train, in fairness, was about half past eleven, and I heard another one this morning at about uh, six thirty, I think. First one this morning. At least he didn't toot his horn. I want a half eleven still toot his horn, which is a bit antisocial, really. I thought uh, you've probably got lots of glare, and yeah, there you go. That's that. So. Uh, Apart from that, it's very quiet, and it's a really beautiful spot. Really thoroughly recommend this to anyone um, who's coming up to the Lake District. I mean, obviously, you can't here for the lakes and the hills, and we're going to obviously be doing that. So from tonight, we've got a cottage in Finthwaite, it's called, just outside Olverston. We're basically very close to the bottom of Windermere, Lake Windermere. So really looking forward to getting in there. And we just booked that before we bought the van. So that's why we're not staying in the van all week. Uh, but obviously we'll still show you some of the travels from the whole week really. Um, but I would say before, you know, this is a definite stopover. I mean, look at that. I mean, just obviously you'll look at it more closely, but I mean, you can see where the vans are parked, we're literally just looking straight at the Abbey. 
and it's so quiet here. <laughs> and we've got a, a puppy who's not really a puppy. Oops. Thinks he's a puppy sometimes, don't you, boy? I think the cows are probably warning us to stay away. That funny noise sounds like a cat coughing up a hairball, to be honest. Don't worry. It's probably more shadow that they're a bit cautious of. There you go, there's a train. It's going to go across there. There you go. They don't go ripping past. They're not horribly antisocial. But, uh, well, 11.30 at night when he honks his horn is a bit antisocial. It's not too bad. There's also behind me, there's the Abbey Mill Cafe, which is obviously shut, well, certainly at the moment, um, this time of the morning. So I don't know if that's open in the day, maybe that's worth a visit if you come. Should we go up this hill? Here we start to huff and puff as I get out of breath. Oh. Well, just have a bit of a look first, I think. Well, that was far too energetic for this time of morning. I haven't even had a cup of tea. <laughs> There's the Abbey. Well, quite a view. You know how out of breath I am. Oh, all those walks I was doing last year, I've been out of practice, pretty unfit. Hey boy, Shadow, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> He's a happy boy. Oh, we'll walk around a little bit I think. I'll go back down, see what the little one's up to, and uh, see if I can persuade somebody to make me a cup of tea. Although maybe I'll be making it. I don't mind, it's worth it. Oh man, how out of breath am I? There we go, anyway, we'll catch you in a little while again. Shadow! Come on boy! Shadow! Shadow! Come on, boy! Come on! Come on in! <laughs> Hello! face in the wall. Nobody knows why it's there. It's just randomly in a bit of wall, just in this little section here. This is incredible. There's actually a bit of a moat still there, or I don't know if it's classed as a moat or if it was just a you know, stream. It's quite amazing that, that is where we stayed the night where that little red car is there and this is obviously the Abbey Remarkable that you just you're in the middle of it and we were just right over the road
the van and just there. Come out for a spot. Shadow's still not going in the water. <laughs> <laughs> not yet, we'll get him there. How beautiful is that? What do you think of this spot, my darling? Mm. Nice. Good. Good, isn't it? Lovely. Just wish I bought my beet shoes. Yeah. And a beer. And a yeah. beer. Yeah. So down the bottom of Windermere, it's a beautiful day, steam train's going to be setting off in a minute, which is just there, and also there's the boat, which is going to be going before too long as well, which we might, uh, we're going to book up and see if we can go on the next one because it's a bit full at the moment. As you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous bit of water. And tomorrow we're going to be going just where we're showing you there, Stott Park I think it's called, and we're going to go and have a bit of a swim. There's obviously loads of people that are going to be going on that boat. Steam coming off the train. Hoping he's actually going to go so we can watch him go off. I think you're right, one two. <laughs> that was a bit uneventful, wasn't it? That was a real non event. Maybe we'll go to the Seven Valley Railway near us sometime and do that because it'd be much better than that. <laughs> the shadows come right into the middle of the circle and done a monumentally historic poo. <laughs> Hola. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> 